Hello everybody, there's four homes on this week's uh, MS tour with Century 21 Millennium here in Wasaga Beach. Ranging from land lease at 139900 up to a home for over 450000 The first one's 9 Carruthers Street in Hometown, so all mature plots. 139900 MLS 20104810. The big factor with this is the uh, monthly fee. It's currently three forty nine, and that will go up fifty dollars, so still under four hundred. Now, bear in mind, a lot of homes are touching six hundred a month because they changed hands once or twice, three, four times. So that is a big factor. There's also now a thousand square feet because there was a family room added in two thousand. We we'll see that in the photos here. It does make it a lot of home, two bedrooms. So we'll go across the photos. Galley kitchen, no reason you couldn't knock that wall down because it backs onto here, make a breakfast bar and open up. That's the lounge, that's the dining area. And you go right here into the uh, new, newish family room, which is this room here. You can see that chair there and there, so a huge amount of space. But those doors lead into it, go out onto the deck a nice pleasant backyard, quite a few mature trees, not too much, but nice. Next we go to 437 Ramblewood Drive, 249,900, MLS 20104641. 1200 squeak, squeak, 1200 square feet, but with a finished basement. A lot of homes in Ramblewood and around the area are going for 300, 320, obviously bigger, but if you think the average price in Wasaga Beach now is 252000 approximately, this is under the average price and you're given a home that's only seven years old, all brick. It's, um, four bedrooms, two on the main, two on the, in the basement, plus three bathrooms. You see from the photos, I, I think it's an exceptional home, family home for the money. Tidy little kitchen, hardwood, hardwood. Fairly open plan when you go in with a dining area and the lounge. Not my taste in colours, but you can change that. Down into the basement, so you've got a rec room with a corner fire. Quite a nice bathroom. Children's bedrooms. It, it, nice, nice decent lot with a hot tub. A little kids playground. Decent sized deck. It, you know, it's a good family home for that money and newness, it really is. Going over to something similar without the finished basement in Stainer, 230 Country Lane. This home's only four years old, 272,800, MLS 20104806. 1,600 square feet on the main floor with three bedrooms. Again, it's nicely finished, quite open concept inside. Attractive house, hardwood. Now, the kitchen, this is a terrible photo, but there's a kitchen and it's open plan into the lounge area. Imagine this is the corner of that kitchen bar and it goes into the lounge with the dining area here. You can just see the, one of the dining tables there. So there's that photo that if you look up here from the kitchen, right there it is, and the kitchen round here with the breakfast bar. Now, it would be a big house if you finish the basement. Interesting floor, trendy bathroom, and it's a nice little subdivision over there in Stainer. Finally, we're at Forndale, 22 Forndale Crescent, 459,900, 20104527. A big house, 2200 square feet with a finished basement. But in my opinion, you know, for that sort of money, you've got a lot of choice of nice houses. This has a lot of upgrades. It's whether it's worth somebody wants to pay for all the upgrades because if you like it you really will unfortunately there's not much in the way of photos but that's you know I can't really say anything about that but you most really recognize the model it's yeah if you want to see it ask me but 450 there's quite a few uh, homes around that price quite a nice choice anyway that's it for this week thank you